Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. Now as you know with the corona pandemic there's going to be no face shield this year. So I'm not sure if there's even going to be a face shield release 2020. But anyway, forget about the face shield releases, forget about the special releases. Let's go back to one of the staple malts that Arbeck has released year after year. And although there are some batch variations, you can never go wrong with one of these staple uh, Arbeck Korivrecken. Korivrecken is arguably one of my favorite Arbeck uh, releases, together with the Oogdal. I think the Oogdal is my favorite, and this is my second one. Anyway, you'll find out why soon enough. But, um, so no face shield this year? Okay, well, it can be helped. Um, hopefully next year. The Arbeck Korivrecken, Korivrecken is named after a uh, fierce whirlpool uh, in the North Sea, just north of the island of Isla. I believe it is the second largest whirlpool in the world. Anyway, this is a, a bottling from uh, 2009, and the, uh, the Arbeg Korivrecken is bottled consecutively at 57.1% ABV. So this is no cask strength, this is actually a commercial strength. It's a conscious decision of the master blender of producing this malt at 57.1% ABV. And in the mix of this Arbeck Korivrecken are some French wine casks. I have here a bottling of the Korivrecken from 2009. Also, oh, it's, it's an older release, but it's almost empty, so I thought it was a good idea to try this one today. Beautiful old golden color. The high strength makes the tears go down very quickly. Let's find out about this Arbeck Korivrecken at 57.1% ABV on the nose. Ah, homecoming. <laughs> Typical art bag, sooty, very powerful in this case. Sweet peat, a bit of bitter orange marmalade maybe. Ah, some lime and even some passion fruit. But that is perfectly balanced with some seaweeds and oysters and some smoked bacon. Ah, lovely. Now the more patience you show, the sweeter it becomes. So more sweet notes will appear. But in this case, this, this is a nose that, for me, it's always in motion. You get always something else. Whenever you put your nose in the glass, you will discover something new. This is quite, quite grand on the palate. <laughs> wow, it offers a fierce kick to the teeth. It's pretty aggressive at first. It starts off with sweet notes, but then the pepper and the smoke kick in. I get some licorice, smoked ham, even a hint of chocolate. But that is quite, quite balanced with some seaweeds on the other hand. And it keeps going back and forth like a yo-yo. And mid-palate, a pinch of salt appears making this art bag quite, quite delicious. On the finish then. Yeah. Oh, good. The finish is very long, very long, heartwarming. And it's a bit of an homage to the nose, in my opinion, because you get, again, the sweet peat and the seaweeds doing an encore brilliant whiskey like I said this is a veritable winner and it's only trumped in my humble opinion or maybe not so humble opinion by the Oogdal forget about all those so-called special releases and our big date releases and stick to the truly magnificent art big out there like the trustworthy 10 years old the Cory the Oogdal and you'll never be disappointed now at, at this moment of filming the new art big wee beastie of five years old has been added to the core range. <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's going to be as good as the 10 years old. It matured only half the age, but uh, we'll find out soon enough. As soon as it becomes available, I will try to get a bottle of the uh, five years old wee beastie and uh, come back to you on that one. But in the meantime, you cannot go wrong with the Arbeck Korivrecken at 57.1%. This is an absolutely stunner of an Arbeck. And that's all for this Whiskey Rambling, and I hope to see it one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And then, until then, stay safe, stay home, and enjoy your malts. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.